That breaking news, the family of a man police say was shot and killed by his neighbor, speaks out about what they call a history of bigotry. The family of Khalid Jabara says that Vernon Majors should never have been released from jail after allegedly running over their mother. They say their brother would still be alive today if the system had not failed. Two Works For You reporter Darcy Jackson is live outside the Tulsa County Courthouse with more. Darcy. Yeah, Karen, Brian, in that statement released this afternoon, the Jabara family says just 30 minutes before the shooting, Khalid called police about a man, afraid, he was afraid about a man with a gun. They talked about Vernon Majors killing Khalid with four shots. They say, quote, this man was a known danger. But there is some animosity between the neighbors. Animosity that ended in death. Police say Jabara died at the hands of a man with a criminal history against his family. Former District Attorney Chuck Richardson says it's hard to determine whether his death could be a product of hate. It becomes very difficult unless there are either things done that show it's uh, motivated because of their identity or there's actually things said uh, that are in direct direct proportion to what who they are. In a post last night, Jabara's sister expressed her outrage, saying Vernon Majors has a history that includes at least two protective order violations. You don't always see that, but it tends to happen, especially in very heated relationships. Court records also show other battles between a civil case involving destruction of property and Major's criminal case, accusing him of running Jabara's mother over in his car last year. That case set for trial in 2017. Well, I'm sure the DA's office is going to want to combine the cases. That doesn't mean they're combined for trial, but combine them for the, any further investigation that needs to be done. Richardson says it'll all come down to evidence taken by police in each separate case to determine whether Khalid Jabbar's death was a result of a long-standing feud. Really, it just goes back to the family. Families learning how to coexist with families that have different ideas. Now, I spoke with District Attorney Steve Koonsweiler. He says that his office tried to hold majors without bond as he awaited trial, but that motion failed back in May. You can read the entire Jabara family statement on our website, kjrh.com. In downtown, Darcy Jackson, two works for you.